dating advice from Walt Disney and Disneyland? Yes, it's possible. And no, I'm not crazy. I think Disneyland can teach us a lot when it comes to dating. Um, so let's get to it. So Disneyland is considered um, the happiest place on earth. And that's what you want to replicate when you go on a date. You want to make it a fun, exciting, memorable experience for you and for your date. You want to be, you know, energetic, okay? You want to be positive, make it magical. Um, another thing that Disney has um, is they have a lot of entertainment. They have shows. So what you need to do when you go on a date, you need to put on a show. So you need to start dancing. So, hey, let's go dance. Even if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to dance, just try dancing. You know, just move your legs and hips. You know, just try dancing. Uh, start singing. You know, even if you have a bad voice, it's all about having fun and just letting loose and just enjoying yourself and her company and trying to know each other and just you know just things just let things uh, flow another uh, thing that Disney has and is very successful one of their key ingredients is tor is storytelling storytelling so that's in their movies and their books everything that Disney does is basically all around it all um, it's all about storytelling so when you go on a date you need to be telling her stories about how Maybe when you first learned how to drive and how you backed into the driveway and you hit your mom's car and then you covered it with a blanket and then you went upstairs and then she did laundry and she took the blanket out of the blanket off the the car that was crashed and then she started freaking out or the first time you lost your tooth or you know just like stories so basically you need to be telling her a few stories about your your um when you were growing up about your childhood um that's gonna basically let you be more open and then hopefully she'll start sharing things from her past um, you know different stories and different things that she's been um, with um, so I think that's very important to be just open and 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 you know because everyone everyone likes hearing stories so there's obviously just make sure you're telling the truth and not making a bunch you know but not making up stories um, that are you know, not true um, and then when it comes to um, at Disneyland, the other thing we, we think about and that we experience when we go to the park, when you go to like Disney World or, or Disneyland, is we experience this, um, one of the, the best customer service, you know. If we get lost, we ask for like a team member, hey, where, where do we go for this or where is this ride located? And they, they, glad, they gladly go out of the way to let us know where it's located and they show us and they, they're very friendly. They welcome us to, to um, Disneyland or to Disney World, like... So that's what you need to do. Y'all need to offer basically. It's gonna sound weird, but basically you're gonna you're gonna offer the best customer service to your date. So basically that involves opening the door for her, being a total gentleman, being you know making sure you pay the bill, um, holding her hand, you know making sure she, if she, if it's raining, making sure you know you take off your jacket and and give it to her, you know. So that's what you want to offer. That's what we can learn from Disney. You know, just the amazing, the amazing, uh, the amazing customer service that they offer. You want to tra translate that to your own dating environment and being a, a total uh, gentleman, okay? Because that's very important. Because I think no matter what type of girl you're going out with, they want to be treated with respect. They want to have a good time, good time, and they want to have fun. You know. So I think that's uh, very important. Uh, so I just wrote some here, some uh, notes. Um, so another thing that Disney has, Disneyland, Disney World, they have, they have a lot of like different like food options. You know, they have you know churros, they have nachos, they have steak, they have they have basically a lot of different options for food. So when you're gonna go on a date, it's very important to pick a restaurant that you know has good food. I mean, it's not the time. It's not really a good idea to go on your first date to like a restaurant you never heard of because. Um, you know the food may not be good or you might not know what to order or she not maybe she will, um, is not gonna like it or it might be too exotic for her so I do recommend um, BJ's as a restaurant they have a lot of options I mean their menu is like a dictionary you know they have way they have way too many options um, which is good you know they have pizza from you know pizza pasta like burgers like they have everything that you could think of they have it there at BJ's or you could also go to the cheese cheesecake factory the only thing about the cheesecake factory is I think they don't take any uh, reservations so you want to go to a place where you know the food is good that's just going to enjoy it um, and have a good time and that's a good environment and and that you know you could afford obviously you know and obviously it's important to also pay the bill you know you don't want to be cheap and be like oh let's split the bill uh, none of that you know you want to be a total gentleman like i mentioned before and and take care of the bill um 
uh, let me see what else did I write here um, so just like Walt Disney uh, girls like uh, guys that are driven that are motivated that are hard-working and that that are setting short-term and long-term goals and that they are trying to figure out how to reach them you know that they have a brain that they know how to that they know what they want in life and they're reaching for those dreams and and goals you know so they want someone someone who is hungry and and motivated they don't want someone who is just working you know just a job you know part-time or living with their parents they want someone who is able to provide someone who has a big head big brain and, and and could actually visualize themselves being successful and is hungry for more and they're not settling for you know um minor little things you know and another thing with Walt Disney like everyone was telling him when he was growing up that you know oh he, this company is not going to work he can't afford it he he went bankrupt a couple of times but then look at him now like his company is worth like I think billions and billions of dollars you know and it's recognized globally you know so you need to have that type of mentality that even though you may not have much now, you're you're striving for something, you know. They, that's what girls want to see. They want to see that you're striving for something um, in the future, you know. They want you to be successful. They want to make sure that if some, if things go good with you and, and you guys click and you have chemistry, that down the line, you know, you're able to provide and, and they're not going to just marry someone that is going to be working part-time or doesn't have ambition. So they want someone who is ambitious, someone who is down to earth, who is charismatic, who is um, basically family oriented. Because uh, if in all, in all the Disney movies, you know, it's all about family, it's all about story, it's all about being together, it's all about overcoming obstacles. So that's what you need to translate when you're dating. You need to make sure that you're telling her that you're family oriented that you compliment her that you are striving for success and that nothing is gonna you know get in your way that you're trying to like you know become something more um in disney movies obviously they have a director they have a script they have a script you know they have storyboards they plan out what type of uh, scenes are going to be in the movie so just in just in that sense you want to translate that to the dating um world so you want to plan out your date so you want to know basically what type of activities you guys can do so definitely do not do not go to the movies that's the worst thing you could do on a date do not go to the movies you need to go and do things together um maybe go play mini golf walk on the beach go to the park ride bikes you know something where both of you guys are doing something um and interacting you know and could have a decent conversation you don't want to go to the movies and then basically just sitting down the whole time and not really interacting at all so you want to interact with the person and be open be positive and do things that both of you guys are going to enjoy and are able to talk about it you know so i think that with disneyland um and with basically the whole company together um we can learn a lot so just to summarize it's you will need to create the environment um that she's going to enjoy that she's going to be happy that she's going to be uh open, being she's going to be able to like open up to you um and is going to want to re basically go back and return and you know keep going back uh, just like people like going to this land you know again and again and again and again because it's like a magical place and it's it's fun you need to create that type of environment in the dating game make something fun and i'm not talking about drinking or getting all crazy like i'm talking about little things little small details that could go a long way for example if you really like the girl i recommend writing letters you know there's i mean when's the last time someone has wrote a, like a wrote a, a letter to someone you know it's been a long time with technology now it's just very hard for for, um, for things to come out naturally, it's just more like you know, if you want to just send a heart and a, in, in a text, you just push the button, that's it. But if it, 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 it seems like it's more personal if you write a letter expressing your feelings or just saying, like, Oh, I had a great time, hope to see you again, you know. And even, even um, with technology, I think it's important to also uh, call her once in a while over the, you know, on the phone and be like, Oh, I was thinking about you and have the type of communication and even if she doesn't answer just that leave her a voice note saying like oh i was just thinking about you i was eating ice cream um you know hope you have a great day boom just like that you know instead of just sending text messages um that are really just you know just not as as direct as not as um i guess you could say personal i guess you could say so i think with everything that i mentioned i think we can learn a lot from uh 
Walt Disney. We can learn a lot from Disney uh, Land, Disney World, um, and just make sure you keep that in mind. And I another bonus tip that I do highly recommend is before you go on the date, uh, make sure you get like a piece of paper and write down at least like five or six different. Uh, questions that you want to ask your date you know maybe what her hobbies are or what she likes to do and make sure they're like open-ended questions and make sure you're also like listening to what she's saying as well because sometimes when you're on the date it's just very um sometimes there's nothing nothing to talk about and there's a sudden like there's like a strange silence or whatever so it's okay if there's silence you know um but I would say when you run out of things to talk about, make sure you go to ask, you know, tell her that you're going to go to the restroom. And when you go to the restroom, get that, that piece of paper and then you could talk to her, um, make sure you read the questions and then you visualize them. And then you go um, at, back to the table and you're, you could ask her those questions and basically create a more unique experience uh, with the dating you know environment dating game so i hope this video uh, was informative i hope you liked it um, remember to subscribe and thank you for watching